In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a single text animation that will work for literally any situation. I call this the only text animation you'll ever need. Along the way, I'll show you some really cool and useful tips, tricks, and shortcuts that you can use every day. Check out how to support this channel in the description below, but more importantly, get ready to learn some really cool stuff. Okay, there's a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. Command or Control T to bring up your text tool, and we're just gonna say text animations are really cool. If you hold down command and option and click your left arrow, you can center your anchor point. And command left arrow will center your text in your comp. So open up our text layer here, go to our animate button, add in a position text animator, and let's just call that animator in. Let's click this add button right here and add in our opacity text animator. So make sure that both of these are inside of your in text animator. These both need to share the same values from our range selector and these advanced settings. On the Y position of our text animator, let's type 150 and then make our opacity zero. And let's open up our range selector, advanced. We want to change based on from characters to words. And then we want to change our shape from square to ramp up. So now what that's going to do is make our offset value go from negative 100 up to 100. So that's our range for animating this text. And notice too, the values for your animation in control where the animation begins. So our opacity is at 0%. So at the beginning of our animation, our opacity will be zero. At the end, it will be 100. Same thing with our position. The reason why it's animating up is because our starting position is 150 on the Y axis, which moves it down. So whenever you're animating in using a text animator, just keep in mind that those values are gonna control where the animation begins. Normally at this point, I would start to animate my offset with some keyframes, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use some code. And if you want to get your hands on this code, you can download the project file from my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below. So I'm going to option click, offset, and just paste. And just taking a quick look at this code, what it's saying is our frame duration is going to be 30. Now the 30 is the speed of our animation. So this is for 30 frames. So if you want this to go faster, you can change this value. So let me go about right here. If we change this value, say, to 20, you can see that it's going to come in quicker. If you want it to go slower, just change that value to, say, something like 60, and it's going to come in a lot slower. So I want to set mine to 40. That's a nice in-between there. This next line of code is just telling us that the start point is at our end point, so the very beginning of this layer. The end time is going to be the end point plus our frame to time, which is 40. And then we just have uh, an ease in expression executing this code. Now, I'm going to make a few more tweaks here. If we open up our advanced tab here, let's just make our ease low 100%. Think of ease low as ease in, ease high as ease out. So now if we want to animate that in, we see that's our animation right there. Okay, now the way this works is it animates in from the end point. So say if I go somewhere around here and Alt or Option, left bracket, we can trim that over and it will still start from our end point. So you can move this around anywhere you want and it will always start from your end point. We need an out animation. First, let me go around to maybe four seconds and Alt right bracket to trim that over. Okay, now let's take our in text animator, Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna call that out. And we just need to make a few tweaks. So I'm gonna grab my code. Let's open up our out animator, range selector into our offset. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna paste over it. Very, very similar code. We'll just run through it real quick and we'll change this to 40 frames so that way we're also animating out 40 frames our start time is going to equal our out point minus our frames to time which is our 40 frames the end time is our out point so basically it's just saying it's going to calculate the number of frames to animate out based on our out point minus this number and then again we have this ease out expression that's just going to execute all of this code However, if we go back to the beginning, we can see that our text now doesn't animate in, and that's because we have to make one more change, go into advanced, let's change our shape from ramp up to ramp down. So now we can see it animates in, animates out. We have this pretty cool text animation, no keyframes, no markers, just a little bit of code. This is just the beginning. Now that we have this set up, we can do all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go into our in text animator. Then let's go up to our animate button and let's add in enable per character 3D. So see, now we have X, Y, and Z values. I'm going to make our X and Y zero. Let's make our Z negative 1500. So that's going to start us from this negative Z space. Now, if you go into your advanced here, you can actually turn on your randomized order. And now you have something that looks kind of like that. 
And again, you can speed this up if you would like by just changing this frames duration from 40, we'll say, to 25. We want to come in a lot faster. And now it's animating down. Well, let's say, what if we wanted to animate it off to the side? So let's go to our out and bring up our position. Let's make our Y value zero and make our X value negative 150 because a negative value on the X axis moves to the left, positive moves to the right. Now, remember how I said earlier that the values you're using for your in animation dictate where your animation will begin. It's the opposite with your out animation. So this negative 150 is gonna be where we're going to. So we're starting from a value relative of zero on the X axis and negative 150 goes out to the left. So now just by changing those few values, we have a totally different kind of text animation. Now say, what if we want to go out to the right? Now this is where you may want to make some tweaks. We'll make it 150. Now if you notice, your first character is going to animate out first. And that's going to be the case with this setup always. It's always going to be dictated by your first character or word, unless you have it set to randomize, like on our in animation. To fix that, let's go into our code. And all you have to do is just swap these values here. So instead of negative 100, 100, we'll go 100 and make that negative 100 and then just change your shape from ramp down to ramp up. So now your last word will go out first. Okay, so let's do that one more time just to make it clear. We want to go out to the right. We'll make this value zero on the y-axis, but 150 on the x. Let's go into our offset, swap these values, so make that 100, negative 100, and then change our shape from ramp down to ramp up. Okay, so just like that, we have a whole different kind of animation. And just a really quick note, in order to make this a true master text animator template, I've gone ahead and added in all the values for you for position, scale, rotation, and opacity. So you can use all of these functions in the way that you've learned in this tutorial. If you wanna animate your scale or rotation, you can easily do that now. And if you want to animate in just the opacity, set all of your values to zero and you will have an opacity only animation, meaning fade in or fade out. Okay, so now how to save this as an animation preset. You don't wanna grab this entire text folder here because that will bring in your source text. And the problem with that is, say you've already created some text. If you apply this on top of that, it will include this original text. So you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is grab the in and out text animators, go up to animation, save animation preset, and we're in our documents, Adobe 2025 user presets. I've got a folder for seven minute AE, and I'm just gonna call this master text animator. Okay, let that save. And now I'm gonna get rid of that text and create some new text. And again, I'm going to command option left arrow to center my anchor point and command left arrow to center that to my comp. Go over to my effects and presets and you can just type in master and we have our master text animator right here you can actually drop this anywhere you want because there are no keyframes so it doesn't matter where your playhead is now if you had keyframes you would want to put your playhead where you want your first keyframe to be dropped since we're using expressions just double click and now we have it let's alt left bracket go wherever you'd like alt right bracket and as we can see now we still have our text animation so this one text animation can be used in virtually any situation just by changing the values of your in and out text animators and you can duplicate it and everything will stay seven minute AE and everything is the same. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.